hey guys welcome to forex family empire we're back again with another video it's your boy case malls so guys when i saw this market when i saw this setup i decided to record a video for you guys so that you can pick up this setup as well and so that you can see where you're going to be trading and it's also nfp week guys so when i saw this guys uh let me just analyze this chart with you and show you what i'm thinking is going to be happening during this week guys so uh, i'm going to be showing you exactly my support my resistance my demand and supply zones guys so let me guys cancel this thing all in all and show you from scratch why i'm thinking that way and how i analyze this market up until i got to that point guys so as you guys know i always go to the higher time frame and start going with it down and then catch my entries from that level guys so basically what i'm gonna be doing right now i went to a weekly time frame so from the weekly time frame i'm going to specify my zones or my highest levels so basically the zones is where i where the markets uh hit and then when the market hit that point they, they get to reverse so that's basically what i'm going to be doing so this is my highest point the market hit this zone and started giving us a big movement and then this is my lowest point the market hit this point and started giving us the big movements to the upside so i'm going to be doing this thing from throughout the chart so we can see we had another one here that gave us a big movements to the upside and then i'm going to be catching another one so we can see here where the market is basically playing around this is where we got a big movement to the downside as well we have another one here guys so i'm going to explain that again so i think you get the point you get the you get what i'm trying to achieve there so i'm going to be specifying that so quickly so that we don't make this video to be long guys so this is what i'm going to to do i'm specifying all those levels so we've got another one here so let me just put it there i think this is a very very important one so after i specify all these levels or all the zones that i have basically in this chart well the next thing that i need to do is to specify um the trend so the trend of the market where is the market going so when i specify the trend i go to the lower time frame from the weekly time frame i'm gonna go to the uh daily time frame so on the daily time frame i need to specify my trend basically so in the daily time frame here's my trend i can see that uh, there's a there's a trend here that only touched two times so we can see they touched it from here so this is the first touch so this is the second touch but we don't have a third touch basically so this is giving me an indication that we might be seeing a selling positions coming to this downside but we're still in a daily time frame guys so we need to break down the market and get the market structure and see where the market is going to be going from there guys so i'm going to uh, connect this graph from the upside and see we can see even on the top side guys we, we haven't touched it that three times because on the top side we can see it touch from here touch from here we can see this is the third touch but yeah it was closer to it if we get the fourth touch it's going to be somewhere here or somewhere here guys so we need to keep in mind that so let's see how it goes so we identified our trend basically so right now i think the momentum of the market is basically telling me that the market needs to come and touch this level or touch this zone here especially on this zone so especially here we, we even had a uh, double top basically here and then the market has to come and touch this level so but that's basically on d1 i'm going to delete this at the moment so that we can go down with it and analyze it and see where we're going to be catching our entries guys so that's basically what i was doing when i got those entries guys uh bear with me keep with me and uh don't skip any video uh any of the video uh, uh minutes here guys so i'm gonna go to the four hour time frame at the moment and see basically what am i seeing on the four hour time frame guys so on the four hour time frame uh i need to specify that trend so we already know that uh, we saw the trend so our trend was going down so and as well there was a, a market a manipulation that came in here even on the four hour time frame we don't see it that much basically because i think i saw that when i was going to the lower time frame i'm going to jump over to one hour time frame so this is the trade that i saw on a one hour time frame we can see this one i can even add this as a zone as well because we can see the market touched this two times so i'm gonna add this thing here as a zone so from there our zone we can we can uh highlight this thing here just to specify for us that this is a zone and then from here as well we have a zone that only touched two times guys 
So if we are on a daily time, uh, on a one hour time frame, so we can see this zone touched two times only. So if you can see from the top side, we touched it from one, we touched it two times. If we come back and touch it for the third time, that's where you can expect to put your selling positions somewhere here, guys. So this is the signal, guys. Once the market touches this level, here's the level, here's the price level, guys. Uh, the price level of that is 3447. Uh, three four four seven five point nine. So this is where you're gonna be entering your selling position if the market touches that zone. So you wait for the market to touch that zone, and then you are going to be entering your selling positions there. So that's basically signal number one. You wait for the market to act, and then you react. So we're going to react when the market touches this level here, and then you react with the sell. So basically. I'm going to take down this thing and see, make it a little bit thin, and then we're going to be checking where are we going to catch our buys because we also need to check um, more support. We need to check more resistance from this uh, level. So because this is the, the the zone that the market is basically playing at the moment, we can see the market has to play within this zone. Once they break out from this channel, is either they go up or down. So basically from here. The big movement that we're going to be seeing, if they break out from here, we know that they're going to be going up and then touch that uh, trend line that we got on our D1, the yellow trend line. So don't forget the yellow trend line, guys. So this yellow trend line, once they break out from here uh, to the top side, these two lines, we know that they're going to be coming to this level or to this level. So that's basically what I'm thinking at the moment. So let me go back to H1 and then uh, and see exactly where are we going to be catching our other trades uh so that let's see let's see let's see let me do this let me do this guys so basically let me just go to 30 minutes chart so guys so uh, if you can check guys uh the market basically opened right here with the gap and the uh, the market created the gap and then they came and covered that gap right there so and you know that uh, on the gap the gap can even turn into a a, a major support and resistance guys so this one right here is turning has been turning into my small resistance so though so that's why you see the market struggling to break the structure here so if the market basically uh, break from this uh, resistance uh, we're gonna be uh, ranging it as, as as our support I don't know if I'm making sense right now so if we see the market going up there we can expect to come uh, let it come back here so that we can buy and let it come here so that we can start selling from that point that we said we're gonna sell so the the possibilities right now that we are looking at guys so so the two possibilities that we're looking at is that this is a major support uh, this is a major resistance guys we can see there was a resistance there resistance there market got supported there right now is basically at a resistant level so if this market fails to break this resistance we are we're expecting the market to continue falling to the downside and then this side here this is where you're gonna start buying guys so this is our buying level guys so as you can see so our selling level is when the market touches here so this is our selling level if the market come and touch this line don't be afraid guys kill it even if it's a scalping trade when the market touch that level make sure that you sell we can see the market is basically rejecting here at the moment so once they once they finish rejecting the you see a confirmation of a sell you can even enter your sales here because uh i think this is a very very good opportunity for you to sell if you want to sell right now if the if you catch the video and the market is still right here and then you see a confirmation maybe around six o'clock guys because i'm going to um post this video right now if you see this market around six o'clock you know that uh it's a selling opportunity you can put your stop loss maybe uh somewhere here and then you let the market uh to run even if you put your stop loss here uh, above this two two pins here uh you can let the market to run but yeah uh my preparation right now is to put maybe the stop loss maybe around uh three four three four four two two point three so that's where you can put your stop loss if you want to sell it right here so but yeah if we see a breakout guys from there if we see a breakout from that resistance let me take out all these red things as you as as i i mentioned guys if we see a breakout from the resistance we, we're continuing to go to the top side we're going to be selling from there on top guys so let me take this thing to right now so that's basically what i'm seeing guys at the moment so we have a support and resistance uh we have the market ranging within this range and then this this gap right here is 10 
uh, our resistance to be strong we can see the market has been rejecting here for too long so guys uh, let's look at this level so that we can see what's going to be happening so nfp is coming this week guys uh, if the market is within this zone guys and we are here at the top we're going to be expecting a sell if we are here at the bottom we're going to be expecting a buy so i'll be recording another video just to check where the market is at right now but yeah at the moment i'm seeing the market playing around this zone use those uh those things that i told you that if the market breaks out here wait for it to come back and retest here and then you can regard this as a buy if it breaks to the upside so you go with it to the top and then you start selling here I'm going to leave this thing right here so this is where you're gonna sell so if right now it stay it stays like this and reject and then we close this bar with a bearish candle so then we're gonna be selling our trade up until this side and then we're gonna start buying from this level so I think um, if we want to buy if we want to sell or buy from this level it's a risky trade because we don't know what's going to be happen what's going to be happening with this uh, resistance level if they're going to be breaking it or they're going to be selling it so for me for me right now i could scalp it or i could wait for it to break out and then continue to go to the upside with it because i'm expecting them to give me three touches here because right now they only gave me only two touches so this is the first touch this is the second touch and then here and then i'll expect the third touch even here i'm going to expect three touches so this is the first touch second touch should be here and then here should be the third touch so both up and down i'm expecting that touches guys so that's basically what i'm seeing at the moment guys hopefully you enjoy this kind of content this kind of video it's quick punchy and uh you guys i didn't want to waste your time guys this, this is what i wanted to show you before I execute all my trades when the market does what I'm thinking. So guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. That's it for me. Bye-bye.